Today I'm going to share how I use color theory to help me decide upon the colors in my fashion shoots. Plus, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you my four light setup. Hey everybody, Lindsay Adler here and color is an extremely important part of my style and in my portfolio. If you are looking to use more color in your work, you should be sure to study up on color theory. Color theory allows you to see what colors play nicely together and help you decide upon colors in your images. Now, for example, one of the most important tools available to a photographer is the color wheel. Now, there's a free color wheel at color.adobe.com and when you visit it, what I recommend that you do is figure out the dominant color in your photograph. For example, I know that there's going to be a bright fuchsia dress. And so I will select fuchsia and then I can run through different color harmonies that would be complementary to this color. Now color harmony is basically a, a rule of color that shows colors that will play nice together. And so one of my favorite color harmonies, it's a little bit more complicated, is something called triadic color scheme. What that means is that the colors are evenly spaced on the color wheel. So when I select fuchsia, the other two colors that are a complement in that triadic scheme are yellow and teal. So in this instance, I knew right away that I wanted a teal background. And then what about the yellow? How do I introduce the yellow? Well, in this instance, it's actually her skin. Often in my style, what I do is I desaturate the skin. I make it white and very, very pale. But in this case, I'm going to keep the skin warm because it's going to perfectly balance and help me achieve that color harmony. So the reason I love color wheels so much is at first when I saw this beautifully saturated dress, I didn't really know what to do with it. I went straight over to my color wheel and it helped me make my creative decisions. All right, so let's talk about the gear I'm going to use to make this image. I'm going to be shooting with the Canon R5 camera and I'm going to be shooting with the RF 24 to 105 lens. This is my favorite go-to fashion lens. But now it's time to talk about the lighting. So let's break this down because in this scene, I have four different strobes. All right, for strobe number one, I have my main light, a beauty dish with a grid. What this does is it creates bright illumination on her face, but the grid focuses the light. So basically, there'll be a little bit more contrast, a little bit more illumination on the upper part of her body. Light number two is our large umbrella with diffusion, and that acts as a fill light. What that's doing is it's giving light to the entire dress, and that's what gives it that sparkle, that glimmer. And our last two strobes are background lights. I wanted to evenly illuminate the background from side to side, and I wanted to match the saturation and luminosity of the dress. So that's why I added a small umbrella on either side of the frame. So although it seems like I have many different lights in this shot, when you look at the image, I don't think it looks heavily lit, but that's because every strobe has a job. It's contributing to the overall success of the image. All right, so love the setup, love the dress, love the color theory. Now, let's grab a photo. Okay, so this is gonna be all about movement. Can I have you step over here? Great, and come a little closer. And I want big movements. Maybe you like even like throw it up and drop it a couple times. Maybe one hand on the hip and drop it. Okay, so here we go. And do a couple where you look at the light or maybe look like, maybe look right here, okay? and energy of this shot and of course I love the color all due to the help of the color wheel. Now, if you want to see the gear used in the making of these images be sure to check out the links in the description below and visit adorama.com and of course be sure to subscribe because there's a lot more videos like these coming your way. See you next time.